Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Telltale's definitive edition of The Walking Dead. <clears throat> we are in the final season. Before we hop in, just a quick reminder on a couple things. First, it's kind of a miracle that you actually found this video because YouTube is not pushing impressions for smaller channels right now. They seem to have some kind of bug in their algorithm. So, while I hate doing it, if this is the kind of content that you enjoy, please do use the subscribe button. Because right now, subscribing and using the notification bell is the only reliable way to actually know when I'm putting out videos. <clears throat> like I said, it's kind of a miracle that you actually found this video in the first place. Secondly, reminder that you, yes, you, you're an awesome person. So keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump back in and find out where the final season of The Walking Dead is going to take us, shall we? This one's had a bit of a head injury. We're in a somewhere that has a bed, which is nice. Uh, it used to be a bunk bed. It's got a frame on it. And why was her arm pulled up like that? I feel like we might be secured to a bed. PJ. Yep. We are held in place with something. Yep. Tape. What is this place? Well, whatever it is, they doctored your head. Looks like you took a pretty good crack to the head, too. Uh, hydrogen peroxide, some bandages, <sighs> cotton balls that have been used. Windows are barred. Which, I mean, that might actually be a good Where thing. Where the hell am I? We're in a place that seems to be reasonably secure. Um, it's a photo journal? Okay, that's pre-apocalypse stuff. Keep looking around, keep looking around. There's colored pencils. Calendar. <laughs> Closet that sort of still works. One of the doors is still on its tracks. I see a toolbox and I see a coat hanger. That has the potential. <laughs> Downside of still being short, huh, Clem? Is there a... Yeah, I was about to say. Is there a chair I can put over there? and craft stuff. It's not going to be actual tools. Oh. This will do. That will do indeed. Is there anything else in it? No? Okay. Stay strong, I will be strong. Our world now. Oh, that's bad. F. Erickson. I was here. The anarchy symbol. Our world now. Erickson versus the 
Dead World. Marlin was here. So a lot of focus on whoever this Ericsson person is. No more rules. What was this? A Call of Duty multiplayer lobby? We are Ericsson. Simon's dead. Piggy's dead. Ralph's next. My rules. Ericsson strong. Ericsson forever. What is this place? It's like it was made for kids or something. Nothing over here. I make the rules now. Store over here. <clears throat> what was this, like a boarding school or something? Standing there. I think that might have been like a visual artifact from the ultra wide. Oh no. Drop the knife now. You do the same. We're not going to hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. If you want to see him again, you'll drop that knife. Now. I'm not fucking around. Let's make a deal. You lower yours, I'll lower mine. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Good here. Look, if we wanted to hurt you, we would have by now. Considering the circumstances, I'll let this little standoff slide. But you only get one strike. Now, you gonna behave so I can take you to see your boy? You're gonna step forward into the light so I can see you? Because if you really want to fight, you're a little outnumbered. Hey, Jace, okay? Take me to him, now. Jesus. You don't bend, do you? All right. Since you asked so nicely. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. You had to take precautions, you know, just in case. Is this dude You're really rocking now. a mullet? And so is your friend. I'm Marlin. That's Tennessee. But, uh, call him Ten for short. He's one been taking care of you. He uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Come on, let's go see your boy. What happened to Ten or Tennessee? Like half his head looks like it's been. He looks like he's been like shoved face first into like a really hot frying pan or griddle or something. How did he get that big of a burn on the side of his head? You've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I 
can't imagine what that must have been like. You sound surprised. I'm like, you think I can't handle myself. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Sorry, didn't mean it to come off that way. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. So what does this place used to be? Dormitory building? It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. But that one would have been up there. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses. Good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved ourselves the perfect camp. Kids are safe here. We make sure of it. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy... Feels like you both fit that description. Troubled. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. <laughs> Guess I'm right. Especially about your boy, I'd wager. He's definitely trouble. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit, I need to take care of this. You Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. But you got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Hey, get a move on, Willie. And where's your damn weapon? Kids maintaining a boarding school. Which sounds more like it was a juvie than anything else. Hmm. It's an interesting setup. Follow the music. Check. Which, I mean, that does kind of explain the, uh... Explosion of graffiti, I guess you could say. Somebody's murdering that piano. Ah, you little motherfucker! Hey! Hey! Uh, About time you woke up! Your little boy just bit me! He's lucky I didn't take a boot to his head! Nearly took a chunk out of me! God, it hurts him fierce! I I'm so sorry. He acts out sometimes. He's been through a lot. Yeah, well, ain't we all? Don't see any of us sinking our teeth into either of you! The boy needs to learn some respect. You need to earn some respect, sweetheart. Oh yeah, this place is not gonna be a great place to stick around in. Oh god, that piano needs to be tuned so badly. Is that true? 
Answer me, AJ. Did you bite her? I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch the kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. I watched AJ for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. He was a bit of a handful. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Lewis. Clementine. I need you to tune oh, your piano. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Um, double, um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. Oh, good. He's earned my trust with it. He's a tot. Yeah, a tot who can shoot. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, oh my darling Clementine. Can you play something else? Yeah. Dreadful looks... sorry, Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Compress this key. Come on. This one right here. <laughs> Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Now press this one. And this one. You're a natural. Mm, I wouldn't go so far as say he's hey. a natural. But... You seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. Got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. There's got to be some explanation. Look, I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? No, I doubt that. It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. A chair leg was the best weapon you could find? Run! Let me help! I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. 
See you on the other side. I mean, depending on how good the kid is. Kind of screwed so. up on that. Watch and learn. Hey, over here. Follow me. And that's how you school a walker. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. I got the timing wrong on that. Yeah, I really got the timing wrong. Okay, interesting. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Yet every time you hit the E button, it doesn't do anything. Alright, go straight for the kill. Go straight for the kill. Stop Looks trying like to stun him and just piece. get him with the Come E on. instead. Meet him halfway. That one was kind of vicious. It didn't even give me the prompt to do that that time. Oh, that time it gave me a prompt. And that time it gave me a prompt. Good. Yo! Over here! Nice timing. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Thanks. I think. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog wines. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. Doesn't that, like, get her sick? <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Fun's over. Let's get inside. <sighs> Fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. The safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Oh shit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Okay, Still so there's a power there, struggle see. inside between those two. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. 
B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Boots. <sighs> EJ. <sighs> Yeah, don't walk yeah, up behind him. you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. Yep. He can't go around punching people in the... I don't want to expect him to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Maybe y'all hey. could... What are you looking at? Pass it around What's everybody? that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Scavengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. I mean... They're really scary. You punched one of them in the crotch. AJ, listen. And you bit We the haven't other one. eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Oh no. I'm not even good at making friends on my own. I gotta help make... Help this kid make friends? Oh. This is gonna be awkward. But first... I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here because the episode's been running for quite a little while. So we've got our first taste of combat. We understand what kind of place we're in. Um, not quite to the point of juvenile detention, but kind of the stop before you actually get to juvie, I guess. Which means that all of these kids have... Well, actually, that's not fair to me. I'm assuming that these kids were originally housed in this place before everything went sideways. In which case, they all have some level of baggage. Which, I mean, everybody has their own baggage. But these kids would have much more than you would expect them to have. However, the way that he presented the place as being like a safe haven for kids in general, maybe, maybe they're not all previous residents of this place. Maybe some of them have been found and brought in from outside. In which case, they might actually not all have crazy pasts. I don't know. It'll be interesting to unravel that and see what makes this place tick and if this place is even worth staying at. But I guess we'll find that out in future videos, won't we? Till then, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on what's going to happen 
in future episodes of this or any other game that I post, well, subscribe and use the notification bell. Because again, that's the only reliable way to know. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.